Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Today we're doing some stuff with mining ships. Yeah, so if you want to see more of this type of content, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Um, also, don't forget to ring that that bell. It gets you the videos right on time. Uh, Alright, so yeah, we're starting off with, uh, with our uh, good old ship, the Plutus. So the Plutus is a ship that um, is named after the uh, Greek slash Cretan god uh, Plutus, which is where also the name Pluto comes from. He, uh, he granted while not being Pluto, uh, he is the god of mining. So this is a mining vessel. Yeah, and on top of that, not only is it a mining vessel, but it can also get us fuel. And it will be a pretty much permanent fixture around uh, Kerbin uh, for as long as it's needed, really. Uh, while its design is pretty primitive, we are still in primitive stages of this playthrough. So, in all fairness, it's perfectly reasonable. Yeah, so uh, we are raising up our uh, periapsis to wherever so we can encounter Minmus. So what we needed to do first was we needed to go all the way out to Minmus and uh, land on the surface, mine, because it was too heavy to launch with you know, being full of fuels and ores. So once we, you know, reach Minmus right here, uh, we just did a deorbit burn. Yeah, so the deorbit burn was pretty successful. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Well, actually, that's not the deorbit. That was the circularization. But the deorbit burn also pretty successful. Uh, this this mission goes off without pretty much any hitches. Um, I mean. Like, there were moments where I could have used less fuel, but eh, whatever. It's fine. So yeah, here we are coming into the uh, flats biomes over Minmus, and we are lowering our periapsis uh, so that we... Not lowering our periapsis, but lowering our uh, overall velocity so we don't, you know, crash into the side of the moon. But here we are, we're coming in for our landing, and you can see the glow of the red light down there at the bottom, and there we are landing. So I quickly uh, got to unfolding all of the radiators and the solar panels, and quickly started to drill everything we needed. Uh, it didn't take long before our, our ore tanks started to fill. Sorry if you uh, are epileptic. Probably should have warned about that. But yeah, there it is. We filled all of our tanks. We're in the process of still, in fill still filling some of our tanks. And there we go. We are pretty much filled, except for the ores, which we're filling up right there. And now we are off to the foundry which will be one of the biggest uh, users of our fuel and our rocket parts that we will be gathering. Yeah, so mentioning the rocket parts, uh, this vessel will not be the one that gathers rocket parts and things like that. That is not the mission of this one. This one is strictly for refueling. Because it will also refuel the rocket parts one. Uh, and how I think we might have to do this in the future is actually keep this rocket in orbit of Minmus. Fill up the rocket parts one in the orbit of Minmus. And then head back down and refill it and then fly to the station. Uh, the rock parts one, it's a lot more heavy duty and yeah, it's, it's a hassle. Uh, 
but yeah, both of these are fully reusable. They're they're like full on ships, like low maintenance. They'll just be hanging out. Uh, they'll have a crew that's continuously in them uh, up until the point that they are retired. And that will be good, I guess. Uh, it'll be good to have some objects up there that are uh, continuously manned and actually provide some purpose for our eventual exploration deeper into the solar system. Uh, all of this is in preparation for creating a vessel called the Jarby Star, the KSS Jarby Star. Um, it will be our first reusable interplanetary ship. We've already done an interplanetary planetary mission to Mars several years back in this uh, in this playthrough, but it was in a very non-reusable ship. Think of it as this universe's version of the uh, Apollo missions. Uh, we went to Mars, really shouldn't have gone to Mars. We did not have the infrastructure in place to regularly go to Mars, but we did it to say, fuck you. Sound good? Yeah, sounded good to me. So our, our, here we are, uh, lining up our docking indicator. And there we go. We are slowly but surely moving at 10 times speed here. This is all in 10 times speed. Uh, coming in close and docking to the station. Gave it a little bit of a jiggle. But that is fine. And here we are transferring propellant, ores, all sorts of stuff into the rest of the station. As you can see, that was the biggest transfer of fuel right there. It moved the center of mass quite a bit. Uh, we also, all right, well, never mind. Anyway, here we are. We are on the other ship. Um, I do not know how to pronounce the name of this one. Um, anyway, it is basically the same thing. It's also a mining ship it uh it, it is being launched by quite a heavy lift rocket this is a very heavy rocket uh well heavy lift rocket um not reusable in the slightest uh and <laughs> barely even got our thing up into space look at this like we almost started falling back down through the atmosphere and our rocket almost blew apart uh, poor Nelson, was it, or no, Neodin Kerman, almost died. That wouldn't have been good. But we eventually got up into space. Yeah. So, this mission in profile is pretty much the same as the last one. Uh, but you can see that it has a giant, giant uh, rock, well, metal ore tank that metal ore tank is what we will be using to collect metal ores and it also has two universal drills that will be used for mining whatever is needed to be put inside this rocket uh this rocket however will have to be returning to a manned base on the surface um it has to arrive at a man base and be hooked up to the base uh, via maybe a rover or something. This rocket, due to how heavy it is, cannot hold enough of its energy uh, energy propellant due to what is it like energy production? Yeah, that is that is it. So it only has enough to really keep it powered moving through space. But what it really needs is something to power it when it's actually mining. It does not have enough power to do that on its own. So I am thinking about 
sending a giant rover down there or some sort of base that it will dock to it when it lands on the flats and when it docks to it it will basically uh, now produce enough power to uh, mine constantly through the night and not lose any efficiency in its mining practices. Now, speaking of that, of mining, uh, there will be a Minecraft video later this week. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Uh, I believe I'm going to put it out on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've put out any sort of Minecraft video or anything other than KSP. KSP has been the only videos that I've been putting out for, I believe, since the video where I did uh, Life is Strange, that like six hour long, or four hour long video where I did Life is Strange. Uh, that was just a combination of a whole bunch of live streams. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and I will be doing another live stream, like, single player thing of it like that soon uh but i will i'll basically keep you informed on the next time that's coming uh that is not coming for a while but if you want to see that and you want to see it live uh i have a twitch it is linked below in the comments and maybe i'll even throw it up there on the page yeah um here i am trying my hardest to use the remaining fuel that was inside of that stage because that stage if you don't know those engines on the bottom they go out after about 10 percent those little vernier thrusters those don't go out under 10 percent those go out on about like two or three so we got a little bit out of that we needed everything we could to get this thing into a uh, deeper space. Alright, so now we're orientating our craft. Um, and it is not orientating very quickly. I can tell you that. Uh, this is at 10 times speed. Yeah. This craft is a heavy bitch. Very hard to uh, steer. And yeah, anyway, we are now in line and we are going to do our uh, circularization burn around Minmus. Actually, this wasn't around Minmus. This was to get into the influence of Minmus. So once we got our future influence or future encounter with Minmus, uh, I set up our uh, deorbit, or not deorbit burn, but like our encounter burn, our injection burn. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I did that, and then I decided to include the landing burn as well. Uh, we warped ahead over the flats, where we are now decelerating. We were coming in hot, but, you know, we were safe. And there it is. Sitting on the surface. Trying to produce stuff. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much the end of the video. You can watch my little Kerbal come down here, plant his flag, do a little bit of research, which uh, we'll try and get put into the uh, whatever the thing is. Now, if you try and read that, go ahead. Um, but yeah, this is it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.